san ishan sha bemus e branu eron gopel so kad i on gopel what is the couple so kilian on gopel tai so it means tai marga gangli and she go fisa olish lakela because it ties two pieces of information together um another important thing to remember is that there are two verbs to be so quelga so there's one verb to be in english but in irish there is two verbs to be like in spanish Kanawanaka Toshirosko of Hana B. So Shine Aber Vime Tome Vime Tome Begme, etc. And you all know those since you've been in primary school. So Vime Tome Begme, that's B, and it means to be, as you know. But there's another um verb to be in Irish and it's called uncoupl, which we're going to be learning about. And you also know the couple already, even though maybe you don't know that's what it is. Um, and couple is is agus ba, so aber is malum is calling me, um is she Sean on moon tour. Shine and couple, okay. So when is I brand new and is um aber connoisseur sign to be or connoisseur sign to on couple. So Mardur mention, as I said there, you already know what on couple is. So on couple is is or ba. So we're just gonna write it out now. So in the Imshir Lorak or in the Imshir Ashanak, uh on couple is is uh on kesht isha on agus on jultok isha ni. So shine a couple. Agus and I'm sure Katja knew some Mokanilok. So in the I'm sure Katja, the past or the Mokanilok, the conditional, it's ba or be a past be uskmog. Uh new air. Uh shine and kisht. Agus and jultok isha near. So queenigi I'm sure Katja ours ours and I'm sure Katja marvi again the buske hen agus buske do. So as remember buske hen and buske do. They all had ours, so to always think the Aimshkata always has ours. And after all of these, so after ba agus er agus near, find two shevu. So I'm just gonna write shave. Shevu. Agus shevu. Agus shevu. So just don't get confused with this knee over here. It doesn't get a H. On doesn't get naru, okay? It's like is malum. You actually you know these already. Is malum if you think is malum. On malum, ni malum. I would like bavalum. Would you like ervalat? I wouldn't like or I didn't like near valum. So you actually know these already. Um, if you think about it, okay? So is malum, on malum, ni malum. Bavalum, ervalum, near valum. And you would never say ba ma lum. You all say ba va can fall because Martha shave on. Would you ever say er ma? No, you'd say er va Martha shave on. And you would never say near ma because it just, just sounds wrong, doesn't it? So near va because there's a shave. So shinny and hoppel. Right, now we're going to look at kahanu side into one hoppel. So Kabonu suk uh on khopel U sidin to on khopel near veins on breher to be a good severla agus a nu de no kane fangeth uh the name so 99% of the time basically you will use the couple so that's is or ba like we talked about just there um you will use them when you have the verb to be in english and you have at or the in the sentence in english um 99% of the time it will start with is or ba so to be in english um i'll give you an example now. so to be in english i um i am you are he is she is we are ye are they are it is or in the past tense i was you were he was she was we were ye were they were in the future i will be you will be he will be she will be we will be ye will be
they will be. So just ain or you sign to on for here to be. So anytime you use the verb to be in English. August Mavian a new de Sanabert. Um Balukela Kunquinaver isha um equals. So Aber I am so just scream for me, I am a girl of Jack Marhamblin. I am a girl. So ta on breher to be am. I am Augusta Aho. Ah. So I am an a girl. So ta to be am Augusta A nu the hound. Ta aho. So Balakella Kumbranarusha, like I equal girl. I am a girl. So this is the thing I was talking about. It's a tie. It's you're saying two um two things are the same thing. So like I am a girl. I am equal to a girl because I am a girl. Um come on. Okay, to so image marshin. Anish Branomit er on hoppel. So Nish Branomit er on hoppel August um Abernur means to be August a severe. So the best way to do this is really with an example. So we'll say she is a girl. So right. It's the verb to be, and we need to make a decision. Is it on hopel or is it going to be be, as in vi me, ta me, beg me? So she is, that's definitely the verb to be. And there's a in the sentence. So she is a girl. She equals girl. So I'm, I think it's I think it's on hopel because we have the verb to be and we have a. And it's also, the sentence does mean she equals girl. So, um... Is Colleen E is the answer. Is Colleen E. And you're going to notice now, I'm going to do maybe two more examples. You're going to notice that whenever you have to be and a as opposed to to be and the, whenever you have to be and a, you're going to notice that it's always going to be a noun comes after is. So this is maybe going to be important when we meet now to be and the because the set, the order of the sentence is going to be a little different. So when you have to be and a, you're always going to notice that it's is and then a noun. What's a noun? A noun is a person, a place or a thing. And Colleen is a thing, it's a girl is a thing. So you're gonna I'm gonna write it up here. So to be plus a, you're gonna notice it's gonna be is or ba potentially, if it was in the past tense, and an animuckle, new and noun, should give me a sphere, I'll write it in English, okay? So, is Colleen E? Right, Jane with Santa Ella. You are a student. You are isha to be. You are is the verb to be in English, and we have a. You are a student. So we're going to have is, is, nish, student, dalta, and you is who. So is dalta, to, is dalta, who. So again, uh, back to what I was saying up here, if we have to be and a, we're going to have is, or ba, is, and a noun straight after it. So is, dalta, and then the you goes at the end. So is, dalta, who. You are a student. I'll say nish kaun wanala. So our Michael is a good boy. Uh, so Michael is. That's definitely the verb to be. Michael is an a good boy. Michael is a good boy. So Marshin. Um, biggest one, we're going to have the couple, we're going to have is because we have to be, August, a. So, is, good boy, is, buchel, ma, a, Michael. So, we're, we're seeing again here that when we have to be and a, we have is or ba and the noun straight after it. And the person, say, comes at the end of the sentence. So is, which we have, 
then we're going to have the noun. So is, there is our noun, buchal ma, a good boy. And then a Michael. So is buchal ma a Michael. So we're seeing that the name is always going to the end. When, it's, when we have to be and a, we're having the couple, a noun and the name to the end. So it's the same here. We have to be and a. So we're having the couple, the noun and the name or the person at the end. So you there, who. And we saw that in the first sample as well. Is Colleen e. So we're seeing the verb to be and a. And in Irish we're seeing is and ba and the noun. So is, there is the noun, Colleen. And we're seeing the person, she, is coming to the end, e. Anish, an kid keshnelisha. Kada Harleen Snurivin to be August Dehagut. So our next question is with on a couple. So we have when we have to be in English, August De. Um right, so we'll do an example, probably the best way to do it. So Sean is the teacher. So Arish, we need to check. Um, are we going to use is or b? Are we going to use is or b? So v, ta me, beg me. So we have to be. Sean is, is, that's the verb to be. And then we have the. So as soon as we see the verb to be and the, we know it's on hopel. So we're going to have is or ba. Now, Sean is the teacher. Is she, Sean, on moon tour. So is she, Sean, on moon tour. So we're seeing it's a little bit different here, the order of the sentence. We're seeing that the person, when it's to be and the, we're seeing it's is, and the person is at the front of the sentence. So it's is, a, Sean, on moon tour. And the noun is going towards the end. So I'm going to write that in up here. So when it's to be and the, you're going to have is and ba, and then you're going to have... Um, the pronoun, so I'm going to write, I'll write pronoun, pronoun, so pronouns, Sinead, me, who, a, e, mwid, shiv, eid, so it's like me, tu, she, she, mwid, shiv, she, eid, but just notice that she and she and she, eid, lose the s's, so me, tu, a, e, mwid, shiv, eid, so you're going to have, if it's to be, and the, you're going to have isarba at the start and a pronoun. And the noun will be towards the end. So look at our sample. So we have to be and the, Sean is, is to be, and the. So we're going to have isarba at the start, which, which we have is. And pronoun, is she. We have our pronoun there. A pronoun takes the place of a noun. So he, Sean, is the teacher, is really what we're saying. Is she, Sean, on moon tour. Um... Sample Ella Tharol Skiv Hanna, one y'all know, um, say, Kate is the oldest. We'll just say Kate is the oldest, I was going to say in the family, but that's fine. Kate is the oldest. So, you all know the answer to this. Is she, Kate, on dinner, is Shinna? So you knew the answer to that probably, but maybe you didn't understand why you used is she. So let's look at it now. So Kate is, that's to be. Kate is, and we have the. Kate is the. So we know it's going to be a couple, and we just need to work out the order of the sentence. So is and ba, we're going to have is because we're in the present tense. Kate is the oldest. So is, and then because it has there, we're going to have a pronoun straight after it. So is she, Kate and then the oldest on dinner is Shinna. So we're always seeing that if we have to be and the, we're going to have is, a pronoun, and then um, the noun over here. We're going to have it later. So is she, Kate, and then is Shinna. I'll do one last one. Um, he is the footballer. So, we'll do this one together. If you want, pause the video now and see can you figure it out and then start it again. And I'll explain it. Um, so, he is the footballer. We definitely have the verb to be, he is, and the, 
the. So it's going to start with is or ba. It's is because we're in the present tense. So is, she, because he is. So is she, we have is or ba and a pronoun, is she, the footballer on Pelador. Just for me, brother in the Sampton and Chin, August Toshi, the Erfad, Bunny Hair, and I'm Shalorik, it's just Dana May, um, Gaw Counts, and I'm sure Katja and Chug, Vekship. So I'm just going to do two samples now in the past tense, just so you'll see, but we'll do them in class anyway. Um, so, Aber, he was a nice boy. Okay. So, he was, that's the verb to be. And a, so we have the verb to be and a, so we know it's going to be on couple, so we're going to have is or ba, depending on the tense. And it's to be and a, so it's going to be is or ba and a noun, straight after it. So he was a nice man, so he was, shinna naim shakato, so big ba hagwin, so ba. Then we need the noun straight after it. So the noun in this case was boy, so nice boy. So ba, vuakal. Remember ba and a shevu. Ba aga shevu. So ba vuakal. B u a c h a i l. Ba vuakal das. A and your pronoun goes at the end. So you see, because we had to be and a, we had iser ba sugailga agus noun straight after it. Anamukal iniyik. Okay, um, kaunala, um. Kian was the oldest. Oh, we've done oldest. We'll do different. One. We'll do um, Kian was the uh, youngest. <laughs> Kian was the youngest. Come on. So uh, we have the verb to be. Kian was. That's definitely the verb to be. And we have the. So we know if we have the verb to be and the, we're going to have is or ba and we're going to have the pronoun straight after it. So, um, so, Kian was the youngest. So, ba e Kian on dinner is away again. Be dinner, be kian on the oiga. So we have ba, because we're in the past tense, kian was. Ba, so we've is or ba, and a pronoun, ba e kian. And we see this time the noun is at the end, on dinner is towards the end. So just we'll do a real quick recap here now on uncouple and the things we've learned. So basically, you're going to use, so uncouple, I suppose, is the first thing. Uncouple. Or you probably know it as is or ba. Use is in the I'm sure lohruk and in the I'm sure oshnuk, so the present and the future, and use ba in the I'm sure katja and in the mokneelok, and it always gets a shevu, as do the question and negative forms. Okay? When do you use unkhopel? You use unkhopel when you have. To be and a or the in English, generally. That's a really good rule to try and remember. When you have to be plus a, you're going to have is or ba at the start of the sentence, depending on your tense. And straight after it, you're going to have a noun. And then the pronoun will be towards the end. I'll write it in. Your pronoun will be towards the end. Whereas if you have to be... And then you're going to have is or ba and you're going to have pronoun and your noun will be at the end. Pronoun, and I'm going to write in brackets there name because um, if there's a name in English, you're still going to have the pronoun, but the name will also be mentioned, say, Ishe Michael on the nation. He is the oldest Ishe on the nation. 
and that's basically it. Um, I was such a on a half talk on couple. It it's so so important, and it will so improve your standard if you can get a grip on it.